And it, oh, oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Bella Boo's Lunches. If you are new, welcome. Today we are making a Halloween lunch. I think this will be the last week of Halloween lunches, I think. I'll have to look at the calendar, but I believe after this, then we will go back into just fun lunch ideas. I Somebody had commented and said they want me to try out those sushi ones that I'd done a while back. They're like the little kit thing. I don't know. I'll link a video up there if I can find one where I'd used them. And so I think I'll be making some mock sandwich sushis. Some of you have commented on my cutting board. My sister made it. See how it says Bella Boo's Lunches? She made it for me. She actually has a little store. I'll link it, I believe it's just on Facebook, but I'll link it down below. She does a lot of laser printing on wood and she has something really fun in store for Christmas. So I'll just leave her link down below if you wanna go and check her out. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of peanut butter on here. While I put the peanut butter on, can I just ask you guys a question for those of you that are on TikTok? If you're not on it, oh my gosh, there are so many different like holes that you can go down for some reason. Like all the single dads that are looking for single moms. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. So we were stuck in that situation for a while. But now, oh lord. What'd you do? <laughs> Floppy. No. Floppy ghost. But now I'm stuck on balloon TikTok. Any of you guys familiar with what is happening in the balloon com community? Holy smokes. Okay, let me clean this up, get my lunchbox, and I, I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm taking a cookie, nope, a cupcake liner, and I'm putting it in the bottom. And then I'm going to put my ghost down here, and my bat can be flying out. Okay, I'm going to pack her, oh, jeez Louise, some uh, fingers that are just carrots. I'm giving her some... Uh, pudding. It's pistachio pudding. Yes, I added food coloring trying to make it more green and it ended up making it this blue. So this lady is selling, you know what, I'm just going to have to tell you the story tomorrow because I'm basically already done packing her lunch. Do I say this is goldfish down here? I just picked out the green and orange because those are like Halloween-y colors. And then we have some black olives because those are creepy. I will show you though really quick how I adhere the eyeballs. How I how I stick the eyeballs on. I just take a little bit of peanut butter and you just stick them on and they should stick. So there we go, here is her lunch. She is getting two little peanut butter sandwiches with these creepy little eyes. This monster pudding looks amazing. And by the way, she never eats these eyeballs. I don't know why I pack them, besides the point that it's just cute and I enjoy it, so I'm doing it for me. Um, she's getting some carrots and some witch's fingers, some green and orange goldfish, and yes, I did choose the green and orange because here's the yellow and red that I chose not to use. Anyway, uh, black olives, and this is her lunch. Pretty simple, but it's still super cute, and it's easy to throw together. Anyway, here's her lunch. We'll see what she eats. Hey guys, we're going to take a quick break to remember to hit that subscribe button, make it turn gray, that notification bell so whenever we post a video, you guys get notified, and 100 and no, 1,010 comments. And don't forget to love the video. All right, Bella. How How'd I do? <laughs> oh, it wasn't right that time. Oh, it wasn't actually. And now that I see a blue to green, I do see blue in there. Yeah, I told you it turned blue. She kept trying to say, no, it's green. I'm like, that is a blue pistachio pudding. <laughs> now I do see the blue. Yeah, it's blue. <laughs> anyway, still spooky. Good job, Bella. Thanks. We're going to cut out a sandwich, and I got these new cutters from Walmart. So I thought we'd give them a try because look at it, we can color on them. So let's first cut this guy out and then we're gonna do a big pumpkin. I have a bunch of different colors here. So 
So let's go on to our pumpkin and press. Okay, it looks good. Oh my gosh, that's really cute actually. Okay, let's try this one. It's kind of cool to see it actually go on to it, isn't it? So I have this like ultra thin cut ham, so I'm just going to cut my ham out with this. Oh no, it's turkey actually. Let me see. It's this. This is what it is. Oven roasted ultra thin turkey breast. Not sponsored. But feel free. If you want to sponsor me, Hillshire, Hillshire and Sarah Lee, they should really sponsor me. Um, okay, so we're going to do all this onto this and this onto this. Oh my gosh, do you love it? I needed to tell you about the balloon saga happening over on TikTok. So this lady makes these like ginormous, gorgeous, beautiful balloon decorations for birthday parties, right? And she was saying she charges $300 for somebody to get like a five foot tall, which by the way is the size of me. I'm five feet. So she charges $300 for like these really crazy, incredible, cool like balloon decorations. And everybody's super mad because they say you could buy this stuff for $5, make it in 30 minutes or less. And she's like, it's just simply not true. And so here's my two cents from being a small business owner myself. I used to make party decorations too, but you know what? I can make like cupcake toppers. I charge way more than what I spent trying to like purchase the supplies to make it. But the amount of time that it took me to first of all, come up with whatever the concept is, like my banners, my birthday banners were all 100% my own cut concept so it took me a ton of time to come up with it and to figure out how I'm gonna do it so it is most cost-effective for me I'm gonna pack her some of these really cool uh, moon grapes I just realized I'd never taste tested one of these um, grapes first of all they're really weird on the bottom yeah Bella have you taste tested any of these yet uh, not yet. I was kinda scared. oh my gosh they are the sweetest grapes Yes, you can make it for a lot cheaper, but that's not what you're paying for. You're paying for her time, her expertise, her uh, knowledge doing it, her setup. That's not all that I wanted to tell you about this soul saga that's happening. She is also responding to people, but being kind of like cocky and rude. I don't know if that is a good look. You know what I mean? Like as a business owner, I don't know that... You should be that rude to other people that are trying. Because she pretty much put out a challenge for people to challenge her and do it. Which I didn't, I have not seen anybody actually succeed in the challenge of 30 minutes or less um, and $5 or less. I'm just adding some pumpkin seeds. We had some left. That's the balloon TikTok. People are like super upset about her because she's kind of cocky about her business. Which, I don't know. It's her business. People are willing to pay it. Like, why do we care what other people do with their money? That's my thought on it. Let's not care about that. Let's be glad that she has such of an excellent business that people don't question spending $300 on basically air. And she said that. She gets rich people to buy air. That's the balloon TikTok drama that I felt maybe I could like voice a little bit of my own knowledge because I'm also a small business owner. So I suggest instead of tearing down people, especially women against women, I hate that. So instead of tearing us down, let's just say, hey, way to go. That's an incredible business model. I am not going to be your type of client that you would be needing. I will be the one trying to do it myself, but keep getting that coin, honey. Yes. So anyway, this is going to be Bella's lunch today. Uh, and if you found yourself on Balloon TikTok, I want to know what side you were on. Here's Bella's lunch today. She's getting a turkey pumpkin sandwich. And you're sure you don't want like mayonnaise or mustard or anything on it? Okay. Okay. Um, a bat sandwich, some pumpkin seeds, I almost called them peanuts, yogurt with sprinkles, and some moon grapes, which are just the weirdest looking grapes. Do you not agree? 
look at them. They got like a weird thing in the bottom. This is where they grew up the vine. I don't know. They're just weird, but they taste so good. So if you can find them, give them a try, but they're really sweet. Anyway, here's Bella's lunch. We'll see what she eats. All right, Bella. Hi. Hey, what I do? You do. Uh, very good job. Yep. Nothing to Not this time. Okay. Today, we are going to do egg salad. And, again, I'm going to save my crusts. I have not made my meatloaf yet. I don't know when I'm going to make it. So, I'm just going to set that off to the side. We will be keeping them. And I'm going to make two little... Little pompacons today. What are we doing here? I'm just gonna eyeball this. You know what? I'm gonna do the one that I didn't smash. And I'm gonna go like this. You just want to go super light with it, otherwise it will make the bread soggy. Nobody likes soggy Nobody likes soggy bread. So we made some egg salad. Bella, what part were you in charge of? Just look at it. What part do you think she's in charge of? Bella, what part were you in charge of? Um, the dill. Mm -hmm. The dill. Can you tell the child loves her dill? Don't you? I do, but... This is a lot of dill. And I did add extra when you told me to stop. Yeah, I know you did. I can tell. I could taste the dill. This is a very dilly egg salad. It's still good. Okay, so I just added it to my little bento box that I have going on. There's a paper liner down here, and I did two silicone liners up here. So in the corner, I'm going to add in some... Some more, uh oh, get out of the egg salad. Some more goldfish crackers. I couldn't not do the cutie jack o' lantern in this pumpkin lunch, so I am adding. Oh, he's gonna have a tiny little smile. Maybe we'll just make him have one tooth. My Sharpie's not working the greatest today. I think she got used on some other projects. But that's okay. <laughs> it's the saddest looking little cutie pumpkin. And it's still tomato season for us here. Well, so far. I mean, we're about to the end of it, but we still have quite a few tomatoes left. So I'm just going to pop in a few red and orange tomatoes to go along with this little pumpkin lunch. That's cute. Here's her lunch today. She's getting two egg salad sandwiches, some tomatoes in the center, some s'mores type of goldfish crackers. They look like this. If you've never seen them, you can actually build them with a chocolate cracker, cracker a graham cracker, and then a marshmallow and get it to be like a s'more. Anyways, they're super good. You should try them, not sponsored. And then we have some pumpkin seeds. An orange that looks like a jack-o'-lantern. Did I say everything? Tomatoes, egg salad sandwich. Anyway, here's her lunch today. We'll see what she eats. All right, With Bella. Bella how did you? <laughs> wow. I was hungry. All right, good job. Today, we're going to start with an apple, and I'm not exactly sure how to do this, to be 100% honest. I know I did something like this last year. What I want to do is I want this inside of here, but closed. So I think I need to cut out, like, a little section, and I, like, do we cut it like this? You know, like, so we have, like, a mouth-looking thing. And then to get this inside of there, I don't know how to do this. I can't remember. Like my brain, I lost my brain. I think I'm going to, I don't know, like, cut like this, and then like this. Am I doing this right? I don't know. Okay, so a few things while well, I figure out how to cut an apple. Um, somebody had mentioned that they want me to show you all my Pampered Chef stuff. The, I would love to. 
and maybe I can. I would have to figure out, I have so much, and it's just kind of like all over in my kitchen. Like some's in drawers, some is like in my tool turnabout. Actually, most of it might be in there. It might not be as hard as I'm expecting it to be. And it'd be kind of fun too to like review it and tell you guys what I like about it and what I don't like about it because I have bought some things from Pamper Chef where I'm like, meh, that's kind of dumb. Okay, here's the deal. This is gonna be too big now, like too wide, right? It's not gonna work anymore. That's not gonna work. Okay, plan B, I have a new plan. We're going to go in with peanut butter and like fill up his entire hole. I just keep nuts in my freezer. They keep super long in there. So we are going to find almonds. These are sliced ones that have not been broken because I've had these almonds for a long time. We're going to clean up around the top a little bit. We're gonna put almonds for his teeth. Boom. That's cute. Okay. Sometimes my ideas don't work and I have to come up with something different. I remember seeing something similar to this um, on Pinterest. So, thanks Pinterest. So I'm going to pack her a peanut butter because why not just give her more peanut butter? I already have it out. So we're gonna do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I'm kind of in the mood for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich too. So I'm not going to save the scrappage. I'm going to eat the scrappage. So she can have the inside. I'll have the outside. Grape jelly. I want to know, have I ever said peanut butter and jelly and then only done peanut butter? Because I sometimes feel like I say peanut butter and then not jelly. Oh, I had something to tell you guys. Oh, I know. It was a joke. Um, what do ghosts wear? This was submitted by Claire, and she wanted to know what ghosts wear. Bella, do you know what ghosts wear? Ghosts? Yeah. Whale? Yeah. I don't know. Boots. Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why don't skeletons laugh or cry? Because they don't have any bones to do it. Because they have no feelings. Oh. Oh, no one. You got a joke? I will, Tell I was, us. Impress <laughs> us with your joke abilities. I was going to say, why don't skeletons ever get um, sick? Why? Well, because they would never get a fever. But I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know where you're going with that either. When it's ugly on one side, we just flip it around <laughs> and we look at the pretty side, okay? Yeah. This is like a dinky little sandwich. <laughs> okay, I'll maybe I'll save this. If you want this, you could have it. If you don't want it, then I'm going to eat it. I'm going to pack her some more of these moon grapes because they are just so weird. Ew. They look gross. <laughs> We're going to do this on this guy too. Ew. They just kind of sit there, too, because they're so fat. Okay, this is still going to be boring, and it's not going to do much, but I'm going to add... Oh, my gosh. And I even picked orange. <laughs> What's my luck? Um, I know how to spice this up. How? Tell me. I need a lot of help today. <laughs> how do trees get onto the internet? Um, they branch. No, they log on. <laughs> okay, good one. Here's Bella's lunch. She is getting some carrots, an apple with peanut butter and almonds. We buy these almonds for green beans. I could not think of what they were. Green beans. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Um, some crazy grapes, but I love them with the eyeballs. They're just weird. <laughs> and then I put her extra apple over here because I figured she would want it. A sandwich. Peanut butter and grape jelly sandwich and then just goldfish everywhere inside of there. Anyway, here's Bella's lunch. We'll see what she eats. Alright, Bella, how was your orange lunch? <laughs> It is pretty orange. Yeah, it's like a pumpkin lunch. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, it would have been funny if you just put seeds in here and this would have just been a pumpkin. Oh, yeah. 
Anyway, <laughs> good job. And that is it for this week's lunches. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.